Hi there. We looked today in class at optimization and we built upon some more basic ones at the beginning of our notes into these slightly more complicated ones. And so I've picked one of the problems from your homework to demonstrate the latter part, the more complicated ones. This is number 29. It says a rectangular page is to contain 30 square inches of print. The margins on each side are one inch. Find the dimensions of the page such that the least amount of paper is used. Okay. So first step of optimization problems is to draw a picture. I would highly recommend doing this. That way you can identify what quantities you're working with, what variables you're working with to build the proper equations. Okay, so we've got our paper here with our printed region, one inch margins on every side. Um, it doesn't matter which one you call X or Y, we can call the outside X or the inside X. I'm going to go ahead and call the inside X in this case. Again, you could call the outside X if you'd like, and I'm going to call this side Y. So X and Y are my printed region. Okay, for the outside rectangle then, this part of the outside region or the outside um, side is X, right? From here to here, this length is X corresponding to my printed region X. Okay, which means I have this piece here that I need to count and this piece here that I need to count. Well, that's where my, my margins come in because this margin here is one inch and this margin over here is one inch. Every margin was one inch long. And so if this piece is X, then the whole thing would be X and one and another one. So this whole thing is X plus two. Okay, if I had called the outside x, then this inside piece would have been x minus one and minus one. If this whole thing outside here, if I would called this x, then the inside would have been x minus two, subtracting the two margins to get the smaller. Okay, for the y, we have y, which is this from here to here, this length from here to here, which means that my long length, my outside length, would be that y plus one for my margin, plus another for my margin. So this would be y plus two. Okay, so there's my picture. Next up, we need a primary equation and a secondary equation. Okay, my primary equation is what am I looking to maximize or minimize? What am I looking to optimize? Well, in this particular problem, they want us to find the dimensions of the page such that the least amount, minimize, least amount of paper is used. Well, the whole thing is my paper, and if I'm talking about amount of paper, that's an area. So I want the area of the whole thing to be minimized. Well, area for this big paper, the outside would be x plus 2, the quantity of x plus 2 times the quantity of y plus 2, right? base times height. The secondary equation is something that's given. In this case, we're given that it contains 30 square inches of print, right? With the prints on the inside here, inside the margins, and this will be 30 square inches, right? If I filled this with print. Well, filling with print, that's area, and the area of that smaller region is xy. Okay. And in this case, I actually know what that area is, and so instead of calling this A, I'm actually going to go ahead and fill that in with the 30 that I know my area is going to be, 30 square inches. Okay. Now that we've got that, next step is to solve for one of these variables by using my secondary equation. We're going to go ahead and plug it into one of the variables, and it doesn't matter whether you do X or Y. I'm going to go ahead and solve for x in this particular case. And so we get x equals 30 over y. And I'm going to take that 30 over y and I'm going to plug it into my x over here. So now we have the quantity of 30 over y plus 2 times the quantity of y plus 2. Okay, once you've substituted it in, now it's going to be a case of um, taking the derivative and setting it equal to zero. You could do product rule here, or you could FOIL it out to do power rule. I'm going to go ahead and choose to FOIL 
and do power rule. So when I do 30 over y times y, I get 30. 30 over y times 2 is 60 over y. 2 times y is 2y, and 2 times 2 is 4. Go ahead and draw a little divider here to make sure we don't accidentally mix up our primary and secondary equations. Okay. Now that we're there, we can go ahead and take the derivative and set it equal to 0. Derivative of 30 is 0. Derivative of 60 over y, you could do quotient rule, or you could do power rule if you rewrite this y as y to the negative 1 and brought it up out of the denominator. Either way, you should get negative 60 over y squared. Okay, and the derivative of 2y is 2, derivative of 4 is 0. Okay, so now we can go ahead and take, or we can solve for y. I'm going to go ahead and add this 60 over y squared to the other side. Let's slide this up. Okay, so I added the 60 over y squared to the other side. I'm now going to multiply both sides by y squared. Okay, divide 2 over. And take the square root. The square root of 30 is root 30. And in this case, my units are inches. Last step, make sure you've actually answered the question. In this case, they want us to find the dimensions of the page such that the least amount of paper is used. So I have found y in this particular case. Okay. So my page side would be y plus 2. So we have 2 plus my y. On the other side, we have x and x plus 2. Well, x is right here, 30 divided by y. If I take my root 30 and I plug it in there, and then simplify, I get x equals root 30 inches. But again, that's not the dimension of the page. We want the dimension of the page. That's just my x. x is just the printed region. And so now I'm going to add 2 to my x to get the dimension of the page. And so again, this is another 2 plus root 30. And there you go.